So when this whole thing went down, I didn't make a video on it because it's not something I usually cover on the channel. I'm going to be honest with you, but I do think it's pretty funny. And now it's got, now we're talking about double standards. Now we're talking about issues with Twitch. So now I kind of want to get involved because it is something that I do want to put a couple of cents into the basket about. Now, apparently on Twitch, what happened recently was there was a streamer who just got banned for doing the dirty deed on stream. Now, <laughs> Uh, I didn't see the video because I don't have to for, you know, research purposes or whatever. I don't have to see the video. I, I read plenty of, of what people were saying about it. And apparently what happened was, to my knowledge, they basically saw uh, uh, the partner in the mirror reflection, if I'm not mistaken, doing the deed. And she was like on the screen uh, pretending like nothing was happening, even though she was making facial expressions. And it was very obvious, I guess, to the people who saw it. And, and it was like, I don't know. It, it, it. All, the, all I want to talk about in this story, basically, is the fact that there is a major double, triple, quadruple standard, whatever you want to call it, with Twitch regarding female streamers. It is a known fact that female streamers tend to get basically a slap on the wrist for certain things uh, that basically anybody else will get banned for, especially if they are attractive. It is an issue that has been going on with Twitch for quite some time, but at the end of the day, they're never going to change it because the people at Twitch basically go crazy for these pretty girls on Twitch. You know, they, they're always going to defend the people who bring in the most money. And they know that this girl is going to have so many uh, people following her now. I believe that her followers have jumped up tremendously after this whole altercation because now she's apparently back on Twitch. They unbanned her and said that it was a mistake. Oh, interesting. So it's perfectly fine to get banged basically live on stream. It is an interesting story and I have to cover it. So let's get into it, guys. But of course, before we do, if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought of today's story. And let's get into the video, guys. All right, guys, today's article comes from us from Dextero, and it says Twitch streamer banned for doing the deed while live, unbanned after seven days. So it wasn't like she was banned for seven days because that was the time period. She was banned and then unbanned because they said it was a mistake, to my knowledge, which is fucking crazy. It says streamer uh, Kami Kamika? Kamika was banned on Twitch after she was caught trying to uh, stealthily do the deed during a live broadcast, but access to her account has been restored after seven days. During a live broadcast on August 24th, and her unknown partner with Kamika were caught having relations while she responded to her chatters. A clip of the incident began to circulate on live stream fail subreddit, which resulted in a swift ban. However, the ban was not indefinite. Kamika told esports reporter Jig Lucky that her ban was only for a week, and she provided further proof to former Twitch streamer Gideon in the form of an email Twitch sent to her. Now, seven days after the news broke of her ban, Kamika can return to streaming on Twitch as her channel has been unbanned. And then it says from Jake Lucky, the girl who's been um, banned for the last week for doing the deed while live on Twitch has officially been unbanned after just only seven days. Once again, I think this has left so many people in the Twitch community completely dumbfounded. I'm not going to pretend like I'm part of that community. I don't live stream on Twitch. I don't really do much on Twitch. I do have a Twitch, and I should honestly start doing more stuff on Twitch. But I just tend to shy away from it because I do more on YouTube and I'm focused on that. But I probably will stick my gaming content most likely there on Twitch. That, that's probably what I'm going to use Twitch for. But it is what it is. Anyway, back to the subject. It's amazing to me that these girls literally just get a slap on the wrist. You know what I mean? Like, not even a slap on the wrist. At this point, it's literally just like whispering, uh, blowing air in her direction. You're literally doing nothing. She literally did probably what's considered the ultimate no-no on live stream. I mean, how much worse can you get other than just flat out hardcore doing it? You know what I'm saying? How much worse can you get? It's to the point where it looks like for a, a female, an attractive female to get banned on Twitch, she has to kill someone on camera, literally. I think like, I, I think that like literally that's what's got to happen for someone who's an attractive female to get banned on Twitch. And you know what's interesting? I've seen other females get banned for doing way less, which is interesting, but they don't usually get banned for a very long time. But still, they get banned for doing way less. But this girl literally did the deed on stream and she only got seven days and then it was un and she was unbanned fucking wild to me i can't understand the double standards but then again i can't it's all about money at the end of the day it says while there was no nudity or explicit body parts shown on stream many people in the streaming community expected more than a seven day ban they had expected twitch to up uh, kamika's punishment to a permanent ban seeing how serious her actions were however on september 4th kamika was unbanned in fact her channel has already started to show growth 
Her 231 follower count before the incident has more than doubled to 546 after she was unbanned. And I think it's more. I think it's more. I would all, I, I could check right now and I will check, but I think it's more. It says, we don't know if or when Kamika will return to streaming, but she will likely have a larger audience than before her short departure from the platform. She has stated that the incident was a drunken accident, so new viewers probably won't be seeing more of the content she has become known for. Yeah, I highly doubt it was a drunken accident. Quit that shit. You know what I'm saying? This girl probably has an OF. Let's be real. She probably has an OF, and she realized that if she just does something crazy, that Twitch is not going to get rid of her, right? They're not going to ban her. So, And if they did ban her, it was going to be short term. So she took the risk. It is what it is. And, and what is she going to do? She's going to have success from it. So let, let me see something really quick. I'm going to look up her Twitch, and I'm going to see if she has any sort of like actual like growth from this whole issue because i'm not really sure let me see what's going on here hold on whoa wait a second Bre hold on is this breaking news wait a second what's going on here hold on so apparently wait a second apparently her her twitch is gone hold on a second her twitch is gone this channel has been closed by the user wait a second what what's going on here whoa i have no idea what's going on here hold on i Oh my god, this is like really happening live right now. Give me a second. Dude, I really think her Twitch is gone. It says it was closed by the user. She was probably getting so much hate that she closed her Twitch. Holy shit. I can't believe this is a thing. Is this really a thing? I can't find anything right now. This is all happening live. And I cannot find anything that tells me that this is really like what's going on here. I'm trying to do this live right now. This is nuts. Hold on. Kamika closes a uh, Twitch channel. Let me see. Dude, I literally can't. I cannot find anything that tells me that this is really like, this is really a thing. Wow. And the crazy thing is it looks like her, her Twitter is gone too. Like, holy shit. I need you guys to, to do some investigations, man. I, I, I need to find out more info now because I'm invested. I'm invested. Did she close down her channel? Did she close down her Twitch? I have no idea what's going on. Zero, zero clue what's going on. Because I, I was literally, I was doing the article. I was expecting to be linked to her Twitch, and then all of a sudden, that's gone. Her Twitter's gone. I have no idea what's going on, so I'm sure I'll find out in the next couple days. But if you guys find out after watching this video, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought of today's story, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.